Mick Diaz of Mick Diaz Presents, and we're in the mix here at the Directors Guild of America in Los Angeles for the first ever Manila International Film Festival. My name is Ever Duya Darby and I'm the president of Manila International Film Festival. Basically what we're doing is, is bridging the gap, you know, from the Philippines to the U.S., the international state. I'm attorney Don Artes, the chairman of MMDA and overall chairman of the Metro Manila Film Festival. We're all excited to be here. Um, our goal in holding this Metro Manila International Film Festival is to open the door for uh, Filipino movies to be shown and recognized, not just in the Philippines, but all over the world. And to make it international, we believe that we have um, good storytellers, good filmmakers. It's just uh, we need a platform for them to showcase their talents, and this is just a start. Hi, I'm Amy Ong Matanoy from Ice Cream Beverly Hills. And we're one of the sponsors for the Manila International Film Fest. We love to uplift any Filipino business especially like in the entertainment. It's about time for them to cross uh, and be in the Hollywood. Um, my name is Joel Kaplan, and this is my wife, Joyce, Joyce Kaplan. Kaplan. And we're one of the sponsors of the uh, Manila International Film Festival. We're very proud to be part of the film festival. Hi, uh, my name is Apec Tama. Having a festival like this, it's really opened up to a lot of things for Filipino uh, films. And not only Filipino films, but also because, uh, of course, we have a lot of films around this area. So we're trying to help out each other. So uh, if you get a chance, you know, I don't know, maybe next year, uh, come over here and watch all the Filipino films. And maybe they will combine the film and movie also. Hi, good evening, everyone. My name is Bradford Atkins. I'm a columnist, writer, publisher, blogger for Philippine News San Francisco USA Today. I've watched the 10 films. I love every single one of them. Most especially when I met you in Tokyo. It's closing my heart because it tackles the complicated story of OFWs working outside the Philippines, their love story, their challenges in coping with aging, disease, love and everything. One of my favorites also is Rewind. Love it. And Firefly, deserving as best picture. Wilma Santos is deserving as best actress. This is Boots Anson Rowan Rodrigo. I'm here from Manila with the Philippine contingent. I am a member of the executive committee of the Metro Manila Film Festival, which brought the 10 films here and which is cooperating very closely with the organizers of the Manila International Film Festival. We are really, really very appreciative of the PhilAMs here and those of other nationalities who have come and showed their support. Nakakatuwa po na lumabas po lahat ng mga PhilAMs nito para manood ng mga pelikula. And I am sure that they were all very, very happy and um, satisfied with the turnout of the films that were brought here by the Metro Manila Film Festival. Yes, I am John Orsilia. I'm here at the uh... MIFF because of uh, my film Penduko. Of course, I'm just here representing the whole cast, top built by uh, Matei Giricelli. And then, of course, uh, Kylie Versosa is part of the film, and uh, Aaron Villaflor and Albert Martinez. So, right now, I'm the only one here. And uh, I think um, this is really very historical and really very important for the Filipino filmmakers. This, this is um, a past uh, love affair between uh, Hollywood and uh, the Filipino film uh, uh, makers. And, and I hope uh, this will be the beginning of a much, much better relationship of the Filipino-American uh, here in Hollywood and us, uh, uh, the Filipinos in Manila. 
Hi, I'm Angel D. I am here for the film Gumbuza, playing the role of Padre Jacinto Zamora. I hope that you guys um, were able to watch it through Manila International Film Festival. I know that we'll have a February screening in North America, so watch out for that. And right here, we are enjoying Manila International Film Festival so, 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 so much. I enjoy our film festival. Um, I've been, I've experienced Cannes Film Festival, Locarno Film Festival, Silk Road International Film Fest and Tokyo Film Festival. But having Manila International Film Festival right now, I'm so proud that there's a representation for our community and like we always say, we have a distinct history and distinct story to tell. And I hope we can keep making movies so that we can shine a light to our own stories as Filipino, as a nation, as individuals. Hey, I'm Percy Intalan. I'm the producer of Becky and Badet, one of the 10 films playing here at the Manila International Film Festival. This is a great opportunity to bridge the Pacific between the Philippines and the Filipinos here, especially here in LA. It's a chance to show the diversity of the films that are being produced in the Philippines and hopefully there's something for everybody, hey, all the Filipinos here in LA and hopefully this is a start, we bridge, we create bridges to all the Filipino communities around the world. Hello everybody, mabuhay! Ako po si Eugene Domingo and I'm an actress and my movie here in the first Manila International Film Festival is Becky and Badette. It's a comedy film and I'm very happy that it brought a lot of laughter and uh, the Filipinos who watched and even their boyfriends were really entertained. <laughs> I think our film is very important because it shows a lot of Filipino traits aside from we love to be fun and we love to laugh. There's a lot of pop culture that you will find in our movie. It's our Filipino dream to be to be known all over the world, and we know that Hollywood is the center of. Um, when, when when we say your film is in Hollywood, it's like you're introducing er to everybody to the world, and so the first Manila International Film Festival now is very well attended, and I think we are on our way. The Filipino talent is really world class. Hi, I'm Anna Maria Perez de Tagle. I'm here at MIFF. I'm also a film actress and singer and performer, so I'm here to support all of my friends who came from Manila. And I was able to see Gomberza yesterday with uh, Enchongdi Piolo, and I'm, I'm just very happy to be here to support. This event is very important for Filipinos around the world to represent our culture, where we come from, our true identity, our talent. Hi guys, I'm Reggie Lee, and I'm one of the jurors, actually, for this film festival. Um, I've had such a, it's been such a joy to watch all these films, and to watch, actually, all these amazing actors from the Philippines, and the different flavors of what they have in terms of their films. I've known that the talent was present all the time, but now we're starting to bridge the gap between the Filipino community there and the Phil Am community. So I am really honored and very proud to be one of the jurors for this first one. Uh, my name is Christian Bablis, and I am here uh, as one of the actors who are representing our film, uh, Broken Heart Strip. My film is uh, one of the 10 Filipino movies that are now screening here in Hollywood, Los Angeles. I am representing my film, Broken Heart Strip. My film is about my character Alfred um, producing this show for the five broken-hearted individuals who seek to heal their broken hearts. Uh, this event is very important for all the Filipino artists that are involved in this event because this is a way for us to represent not just our films, not just our movies, but our countries what we can offer as Filipino artists. Hi, I'm Janela Salvador and I play Agnes from Maliari. I hope people support our film as this is a first for the Philippines to be able to have a film fest here in America. Our film is called Maliari and it's a beautifully made film. Um, it's not your usual horror film and I really hope our fellow Filipinos can support it. It's a big opportunity for Philippine cinema to be able to be seen internationally. This is hopefully a good step, a good milestone for the film. Hi guys, this is Bella Pascual from uh, Movie Maliari. 
for the Manila International Film Festival here in LA. Uh, excited to be here. It's the first uh, MIFF, and uh, ho hopefully it's not the last. You know, it's it's a blessing to be invited here, and you know, because of this uh, event, this festival, hopefully we'll be able to. Uh, create more partnerships with different Dilem communities here and touch base, of course, with the Dilem talents here. Do some partnerships, do some co-productions, and open doors for Filipino talent. So my advice, I guess, is to just really go for it. You know, if you think you've got the talent, the skill, and you really want to do it, you just got to manifest and go for it. Hi, I'm Inigo Pascual, and I'm here, of course, to support my dad, uh, Papa P. Um, and honestly, I'm just here to support, you know, everyone that has an entry. and. It's the very first Manila International Film Festival. It's an honor to be here. And, you know, coming together, all different creatives coming together and putting our differences aside. It's really beautiful. Um, and to be part of, you know, something so so big and something exciting, you know, it being the first one, it's, um, it's a good feeling. It's my message to artists, you know, fellow creatives. Keep doing what you're what you're doing. You know, don't be afraid. And, you know, there will always be someone that you will reach with your art. Uh, the topic of the movie is something that's really universal that uh, mo most of the people can really relate to. Much more Pinoy tayo, right? Sa ang bahagi pa man tayo ng mundo. Mananaig at mananaig yung ating pagiging Pilipino. Any upcoming stars in the We don't know yet. Um, but what's important is that uh, the, the movie Rewind will, will start showing in North America siguro this week. So after this film festival, it will be available also in uh, the favorite theaters of our mga kababayans, mga kapuso kapamilya dito sa, in, sa America. We're here not only to promote uh, the best of the Philippine uh, movies, but likewise, it's a two-way thing. Also inviting foreign producers, especially those of film, to come and visit the Philippines where we've got very good sites, good actors and actresses, the production staff, and of course, the ease of doing business right now. We must make sure that all of the permits uh, will be processed, uh, very easily, expeditiously. Well, that's why uh, MMDA and the DALG, or the partners of the Interior Local Government, are here supporting uh, this industry. Christopher is my brother, so I am here to support him, and I live here. I live in uh, Orange County, and um, I'm supporting him all the way, and the Manila International Film Festival. This is big time. I think we should do this every year and we Filipinos should support this event every year. It should not die down. It should go on every year and uh, be a, a you know, showcase to Hollywood. I think we're world class already. You know, it just needs a little push. I believe we have the best actresses, we have the best films being made and and I, I believe in, you know, the Filipino movies that has to be distributed here in Hollywood. In the filmmaking industry, so now we bridge the two worlds, uh, uniting this. This is the whole thing. We want to be, we want to be able to produce content that's shot here in the U.S. Um, with Filipino actors and of course our story. Um, and, and this is, we are all assisting them. So we are, you know, we're giving them access and, and, an is, and it's an instant co-producing package for, we're awarding that whoever wins the best film tonight. It's Real Santos. And it's all, we all did it in Japan. Yeah. It was so beautiful in Japan okay. that, that time. And uh, wow, it was such a breeze and it was nice to work with those guys. After, after, no, after 15 years, the yeah. last one was 15 years ago. We were shooting in uh, the outskirts, not in Tokyo. We met in Tokyo. The characters met in Tokyo, but uh, we shot the whole, about uh, 90% of the movie outskirts, the, uh, the, the outskirts of Tokyo, of oh, Japan. The, the, so you see all the, uh, there blossoms all the, the beautiful farms, all the produce, all the, you know, I play a farmer here. So, yes, uh, I sell, I sell vegetables and fruits. So, that's, that's a fun, fun movie. We had movies before that uh, speaks of social relevance. We had 
Lino Broca, Ishmael Bernal, who are all national artists. We have uh, Jerry De Leon, who Eddie Romero, who doing social with movies with social commentaries and entertaining ones. But now, now it's a uh, it's different, uh, it's different head. Uh, it's a different audience that we have here. We have. We have millennials, we have the Gen Z's, we have the, you know, our contemporary. So we have to adjust to to all of these changes, especially right now after the pandemic. We should be showing movies that are very also relevant, like all of the movies that are being shown here at the MIFF. Yeah. And like, for example, in our case, the, when I met you in Tokyo, he talks about uh, two OFWs who like been living and working in Japan for more than 20 years already. And then, yeah, we met in Tokyo and then that's it. <laughs> we should have more of this. We should have another like, I'm sure next year is going to be the golden year of uh, the Metro Manila Film Festival and uh, it's the 50th anniversary of the MMFF. So uh, hopefully we'll, we'll see each other again during next year. <laughs> it's very light working with her, you know. Uh, she's oozing with genuinity and authenticity. So wala po masadong effort when it comes to relating to her in terms of acting. I really had fun. Nabitin po kami while making the film. So right now, uh, I've finished directing a film. Uh, so my company, Myriad Entertainment Corporation, uh, co-produced a film under Viva. Uh, of course, Boss Vic Del Rosario. And then I'll be doing a series back home, which is Kulang Araw. Uh, it's uh, a uh, Jimmy original uh, series. And it's written by Mrs. Suzette Doctolero. So the setup is World War II. It's a period project. It's a legacy project because it will just basically... Uh, tell the story of the, the Philippines during the Japanese occupation. The whole festival is important for me, uh, yeah, to me. Uh, I really made time for this. Despite my schedule back home, I, I told my team, I can't mawala dito kasi this is the first. And uh, this is like basically the, 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 the kick-off for the following years for, for this festival. So I cannot miss this. I'm Kenneth Barless. I'm a fashion designer. And... I love being here in the Manila uh, International Film Festival because it's very important to be seen and be heard in Hollywood and especially the culture and then also like just as Filipinos here. So I'm here to support all the way. It's, it's all about representation. And in this time of the year now, um, being Filipino and being Asian in Hollywood is very, very important because there's so many things happening. and. And it's our time to, as a community, to gather together so that we can support every culture, every um, film, and every talent that we have.